Good morning and happy Vlogmas day 13. So my breakfast this morning, I am really excited about. I am having some of the Protein World flavour salted caramel. I have been waiting and waiting to try this and it's going to work whilst I'm calorie counting. So this comes in at 209 calories, including the almond milk. It smells absolutely delicious, so I can't wait to tuck into this. So yeah, I will give you my verdict after. I am cooking one of my O-time favourites for lunch. I have got brie and cranberry sandwich. Yum, yum. So that is my yummy brie and cranberry sandwich. Um, I've got it all in NutriCheck, but I need to write it down. So I'll probably put it on the screen, the calories. Of this I'm a little bit unorganized um, but yeah look at that mm. so I'm having this orange and it is 70 76 calories just look how beautiful this is it's like going through a um, it's like you've seen a post a postcard or a Christmas Christmas card absolutely gorgeous and then you've got the sun trying to shine through as well but it's so white up here and it's all clinging to the trees yeah I just thought it's absolutely beautiful I got my son to record this whilst I was driving This is my tea tonight. It's come to a total of 413 calories. I haven't got it all wrote down as a breakdown, but um, the sausages are the 45% less fat ones from Aldi's. I got 85 grams of potatoes done in fry light that I've done in the Ninja. And then I've got Swede, cauliflower, broccoli and carrots and uh, 200 mils of gravy. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to this tonight and we're going to eat this and I think then a bit later once it's gone down we're going to go to the gym. I really enjoyed that tea so I'm just going to finish off with a Kavag now for 81 calories. So I wanted to get this video up a bit earlier tonight. Um, so as you see on the thumbnail what have I decided? Well today has totally been calorie counting and after lots and lots of thought last night um and talking to my husband about it talking to friends and reading all your comments um i am i'm going to go for the calorie counting again i have two weeks left at simmer world which I've already paid for because obviously I've done that countdown. I will definitely go to this one on Mon Monday, next Monday. Um, and then the following one on the 27th, it was going to be a little bit iffy me getting there. It was going to be a bit of a push, but I was going to put myself out and go. But it is actually only um, a weigh in and there's no image therapy. And I've got about a 20 minute drive to get there um so i'm kind of thinking um that i probably wouldn't bother going to that one although i paid for it and i really didn't want to like lose on the money but the fact of me only going to stand on scales the price it's going to cost me in fuel i may as well not bother but i will go to the following monday and uh, as I said yesterday, I will miss it. I definitely will miss it. Um, but I got to, you know, I got to think of um, what is best for me. And, you know, like everything, as I said, everything is getting so expensive at the moment. And to fork out for another six weeks, well, I've been doing 12 weeks at a time, but to fork out another six weeks um, and to only lose... A couple of pound maybe it is just not um 
doable at the moment it really isn't i got more important things to pay my money on than than that so so yeah the decision has been made that it's calorie counting looking way forward so excuse me because i've got a few notes here so i need to like look down now i went on i obviously went on nutri check um to see how many calories they gave me and i also went on james smith which i know a lot of people use and a lot of people go by james smith but i always before when i've done looked at how many i should be having i always found james smith was a bit on the high side for the calorie allowance which i know suits some people but with me being such a slow loser it's not wise to be on such high calories i don't think for me anyway so james smith came in at 1662 and NutriCheck came in at 1,400. Um, and before before I carry on, I just want to quickly say, um, a couple of people said on the comments last night that um, go for the, go for 1,200 calories. I can't. I just can't do 1,200 calories. I've tried 1,200 calories a, f a couple of times now and i physically can't i get so shaky um so bad that i i feel sick and you know i i really wasn't in a good place at the time when i was on 1200 calories i know it sounds like nonsense but it's not it wasn't for me anyway um i done it for weeks and weeks and it didn't put me in a good place at all um so no i'm not doing 1200 and none of the calculators even um suggest that i should do 1200 and um amber my daughter actually said mum if you do 1200 even a toddler can't survive on 1200 so i'm not doing 1200 so james smith was 1662 and NutriCheck was 1400 so i thought I would go in the middle um, and do 1500. Sorry, I just got to check I'm telling you this right. I thought I would go in the middle and do 1500. That way, you know, I'm not as high as Jane Smith, but it, you know, so anyway. Then yesterday, I wanted to have bit of a more relaxed day because Amber had made a lovely lovely cake and I really really wanted it and I just felt I wanted a couple of treats so I set NutriCheck to an easier day which then meant I was given 1924 calories how easy was it to spend those calories I couldn't believe it but anyway so that was that, 1,924, and I finished bang on. I think I, I think I had one left, which then makes it, um, for the rest of the week, I'm on 1,425, because obviously with setting an easier day, you're obviously, you know, over your calories. So then to, to make it all equal out at the end of the week, it's going to, you have to take some off each day to equal it out. So that's given me 1,425. So that is completely fine because I really enjoyed my treats um, yesterday. I wouldn't do this um, permanently. I think when I was doing NutriCheck before, I did do it for quite some time, having the higher calories on weigh day. Um, I don't plan on doing that this time. I mean, obviously now with Christmas coming, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and I possibly will put my calories onto maintenance for Christmas week, where at the moment I pull it for a £2 weight loss. Um, and I, I don't get the £2 weight loss, but I pull it for that anyway. 
so that is my plan um at the moment i'm still going to weigh on a monday but after christmas i am going to change my weigh day um obviously because i'll be weighing myself then and it'll be weighing in the morning rather than at the moment at simmer world i've been weighing late afternoon um so i will be weighing in the morning so i'm going to change my day to suit to suit me um and my family so i'll discuss that after christmas because i just got too much you know thinking about it at the moment so so today has been a really good day i sat and planned today mainly last night and oh my god that protein world um porridge this morning was absolutely delicious do excuse me i've got such an itchy nose oh it was gorgeous the smell of it when i was cooking it and then the smell when i was eating it i mean i did sample it when amber had it but obviously on simmer world it was difficult to sin it because it wasn't coming up on the app so when i decided to do calorie counting i thought that's the first thing i want is that um i think i'm not sure if they do the gingerbread flavor porridge because i know that i would love that i love anything gingerbread um but i'm looking forward to trying the gingerbread pancakes for sure um so yeah that was gorgeous <laughs> and then i again um i couldn't wait for my lunch because i knew i was having a brie and cranberry sandwich and that was lush and then i obviously had that tea which was you know a nice a nice healthy tea um and i've still got enough um for a few little treats tonight so oh and i had um earlier my mum gave me a mini it is 127 calories a mini waitrose mince pie they're only little mini ones just enough actually because like them large ones i don't know if it's all the same but the aldi's ones that i've been buying um for the family are 200 and i think they're like 240 something like that and i haven't had one um so i had that so that was 127 calories and then for my supper tonight, for my snacks, I'm going to the gym shortly. I've, I'm already like, I've been rushing around and I'm like really hot and bothered, even though it's not hot, but. Um, so I've got down a pink and white wafer, which I'd actually put, I was planning on having this afternoon and I didn't need it. So that's in for this evening. And I've also put in a pack of pom bears. Uh, the pink and white wafer is 50 and the pom bears are 65 and that is still leaving me with 39 calories left so i'm ending on 1386 and to say that um you know i've managed to get those couple of treats in as well i thought was really really good so that is um that is it oh and i wanted to say as well um now a couple of weeks ago i tried out um because i've had the nutri check app on my phone from when i uh, registered with them before so a couple of weeks ago i trialed out a couple of days on the nutri check obviously i didn't tell you i didn't tell anyone i just done it for me to see um so i put in everything that i'd eaten that day for simmer world i didn't change anything i wanted to do whatever i wanted on simmer world and then put it into nutrichack to see what it come up as and i've done two days um so the one day came in at i think it was about 1700 calories which obviously is well it's even more than what james smith gave me yeah now i done another day it wasn't it wasn't like two days in a row i can't remember there was a few days in between and then i done another day um and that came in at just over a thousand calories um so obviously it goes to show i mean depending on what you're having on summer ward and how many it's bringing in on the calories so that one day was extremely high but then the other day was extremely low really so 
so yeah it's quite it was quite interesting to um do that and our you know our never slates in the world because obviously i lost my three stone with them and i've lost more but i keep referring back to the three stone because that's my biggest clump that i've done with them um but it's just you know it, it's that time now where i'm getting frustrated the weight's not moving i might be saying the same in a couple of weeks with calorie counting who knows um because i think perhaps i might have said at one time that i i wouldn't go back to calorie counting i'm not sure i don't know if i said that but if i did you can never guarantee anything can you? you can't say i'll never do this i'll never do that because never is a big word um so and as everyone has said to me on the comments at the end of the day you know it's up to me and this is what i feel that i need to do now just to try and and get things moving so so yeah that is it i think i'm going to finish off now because um i've been running around like a as my mother puts it blue ass fly and i i'm going to go and sort the dishes out now and then we are off to the gym so i'm hoping it's not too busy and um yeah we can do a little bit there but in this cold weather you do not want to go out do you i just i'd rather be nice and warm but then that's not you know it's not getting me anywhere if i'm going to think like that we were going to go swimming and i thought oh no coming out of a swimming pool into that cold air i just do not fancy it so um yeah so anyway i'm looking forward to um planning my meals tomorrow as well so um so i would just like to say a thank you so much for watching again and one other thing i wanted to say as well i am still having um viewings on my channel that aren't subscribed and i would absolutely love it if you would just press that subscribe button and follow me for this journey it honestly it's completely free of charge doesn't cost anything um i would just love the extra support just you know i'm on i think i don't think i've got many more to get to 1300 and it would be lovely if i could get to those numbers by the end of this year so that would be amazing um because yeah i mean i'm only a small channel compared to some but it's it's still my channel and it's still you know i enjoy doing it so but it would be nice just to have those few more uh subscribers so if you are watching and you're not subscribed please please subscribe um and yeah i would just love to see the numbers creep up a little bit more but anyway i am off now so thank you so much for listening and watching and i'll catch you all tomorrow bye